In this video, I'm going to tell you why you may get false blood pressure readings. Blood pressure is one of the most taken vital signs. Unfortunately, many people are doing it wrong, including some nurses. This can derail your blood pressure goals. If you want to see more blood pressure videos like this one, click the subscribe button and the bell icon. There's nothing worse than doing the right thing while keeping track of your blood pressure and you're getting a false reading. This can cause you to think you have high blood pressure when you don't. Or the opposite, where you think your blood pressure is normal, but it's really high. False readings can play with your mind and your health because it can cause you to get the wrong treatment or no treatment at all when it's really needed. I'm going to tell you things you may be doing or things that are wrong with your blood pressure monitor equipment resulting in incorrect readings. The first thing is an incorrect cuff size. If your cuff is too small, your readings can be falsely high. And if the cuff is too big, your readings may be falsely low. So how do you determine if your cuff is the right size? Most cuffs have a size range written right on the cuff. My cuff size has a range from 8 and 3 quarters to 16 and a half inches. It's essential to measure your upper arm to see if it fits into the range of your cuff. Take a cloth measuring tape like this one and wrap it around your upper arm while it's relaxed, hanging straight down. If the size of your arm is not in the range, you need to change your cuff. The second reason you may get a false reading is a cuff that is too loose or too tight after you wrap it around your arm. Even if you have the right cuff size, it's possible you may be making this mistake. When secured, the cuff should be tight enough to fit fingers between the cuff and your arm. The cuff shouldn't be too loose where it moves around or too tight where you can't slip a finger under it. The next thing is placing the cuff in the wrong location on your arm. The lower edge of the cuff should be a certain distance from the bend of your arm. Every cuff differs with this distance. My Welchelin cuff recommends a distance between 0.8 of an inch to 1.2 inches, while some others may recommend a different distance. Check your your cuff for its distance and make sure your distance is right when taking your pressure. The second part of cuff location is its alignment. Your cuff should have a marker on it that you line up with your artery. This should also place the tube down the inside of your forearm. The next thing is not having the cuff at the same height as your heart. If the cuff is lower than your heart, a mistake a lot of people make with a wrist cuff, your reading will be higher than your actual pressure. And if the cuff is higher than your heart, Heart, the reading will be lower. By taking your blood pressure in the correct recommended position, which is sitting upright, feet flat on the floor, and arms supported, your cuff should be at heart level. And if for some reason you need to take your pressure lying down, still make sure the cuff is level with your heart and always give yourself a few minutes to relax after moving into a different position before taking your pressure. Another thing with the cuff is not wrapping it around closely. Clothing. No matter how thin your sleeve may be, the cuff should be wrapped around your bare naked skin. The next cause of false readings is only taking your pressure once. The American College of Cardiology recommends taking two to three measurements and then averaging them together. This takes away a random error and eliminates one false reading. Another false reading cause is an inaccurate home monitor. You should bring a new monitor to your doctor on the next visit and have them compare their reading to your machine. Every year after, bring it in again and have it checked to be sure it remains accurate. If you want to see the home monitors I recommend, visit my blog post by typing the following into your computer, bloodpressureexplained.com slash monitors, or click the links down below. If you found any value in this video, click the thumbs up, stay healthy, and I wish you and your loved ones the very best.